Hello folks, and welcome back to the Vertigo Tea Party, and let's play Saints Row 4. Uh, pay no attention to the two dead women in the streets behind me, uh, and the cop shooting me. Pay no attention to that at all. So, let's go ahead and grab these little blue clusters first of all. First thing I'm going to focus on, instead of the side missions and whatnot, well, let me rephrase, instead of the events, and I was going to call them events. The events like, uh, or the activities such as the uh, the running thing where you run through the arrows. Oh, yeah! Where you can get gold and silver, blah, blah, blah. I'm going to call them uh, events. Because I'm not sure what the hell the game call them. They're not challenges because challenges is something else. So, anyway, let's go ahead. We're going to do those challenges later. Let's go ahead. Take a look at our quests. Uh, let's do the side. It's going to do all the side quests first. Explore the tower. Hmm. Let's see. What's what do I need to do for this? I don't want to break out of the simulation yet. So let's go ahead and do this. I'm sending you a tower. I'd like you to climb. I'd like to track some data on your jump ability for my personal records. Now this first tower climb is the worst. Well. Worst as in hardest. Man, I'm so missing my other powers. If you guys caught up to the stream that I did the other day, then you probably saw some of the more advanced travel powers and how big of a difference they can make when it comes to, oh, hello. When it comes to getting around easily. And the towers are not only no exception, but, but uh, actually, a good highlight of why it's so important. See, these houses in particular are actually can or can be a bit of a pain to get around because of the way the roofs are set up, as you just saw where I kept hitting my head. And I'm trying to grab a, a few of these balls on the way over there. These blue balls, even though these data biscuits. We're gonna call these data biscuits, by the way. Before I get there, so that I can. Maybe upgrade. Probably going to try to get one more before we start so I can... I should have one upgrade that's a plus 10. I want to get our jump upgrade. Oh, that's right. They've got a bunch of data biscuits here. So we're going to do it first or just do it here. All right. So we had to climb the top of the tower to receive cash and XP, as the thing said. There's X number of towers here that we need to climb. But we're not going to focus really on that uh, other than for when a quest tells us to until we have more of our travel powers because having those travel powers make these tra tower climbs much much easier especially the glide the wall climb those in particular are a big deal so let's go ahead and check our powers can i upgrade anything with 10. i want to do jump first if we can jump height would be very good air dash let's go ahead and get air dash first Height is good, but dash is even better. And we'll actually probably get enough for jump height on the way up. Well, maybe. Because there's always a lot of data clusters on these towers. So it's also a great place to work on your upgrading your powers. Oh, yeah! See, we're already back up to seven clusters. So, yes, definitely the towers are great for that. But, again, I'll probably wait to climb them other than this one and one other one for a side mission until I've got at least wall running glide oh god wall running glide uh, we've got the air shift thing that that's our air shift by the way the only problem I have with that oh god for a second there <laughs> I've been playing too much Saints Row on too many different save games because I thought oh I'll just run up that wall and I don't have wall running yet. So let's go back up there. I'm like, why am I not running up this damn wall? Oh God, I don't have the power. So let's get back to where we were. It's definitely much, well, I won't say much, it's, oh God, no. Ah, uh, God damn it. Now I don't know how to warp higher. Cause it said you can warp up, but I have no idea how you actually do that. Where am I? 
Yeah, I have no... Maybe you have to find one spot and warp up? I don't know. But yeah, this this is exactly why I prefer to wait until you have more pa Awesome, I'm already back to the bottom. So actually, that might help us, because we could warp up here. Okay. So it looks like it's actually better in that case to just fall to the bottom. If you've lost that much. And just go to the bottom, find the initial jump, and warp all the way up. It's nice they put that, though, because coming back up here would be incredibly frustrating. Again, early on, when you lack some of the more awesome scaling superpowers. See, already we're up to 10, and I think that's enough to get us jump height. I can't remember if it was jump height 1 or 2. I think the second one is like 15 or 20, and the next one's 30. Let's check it out. Oop, not sprint, but jump. Uh, glide. Uh, actually, we're going to get glide because that's important. We don't need three more data biscuits for that. Uh, go ahead and jump over here. Take the safe route. I'll be a little bit more dangerous once I get the better powers. Also, the side quest gives us a lot of interesting weapons and upgrades. So they're absolutely worth doing. Even if you don't normally like to do side quests. Which, I don't know, this seems like the type of game... This is not... In my opinion, the type of game for the person who's like, I'm just gonna run through and do the main quest and that's it. Like, that doesn't... That doesn't click in my head, as it makes sense. For a game like this, because there's so much shit to do. And if you just do the main quest, then... It seems like it'd be really short. Alright, we're gonna pick up Glide. I can't do... When, when can I get, um... Actually, wait a minute. Let's check. Super Strength's the one that has the wall climb. Wall running, level 6. Okay, we've got two more levels. So it's safe to go ahead and grab Glide. Which I will do now. So now we can not fly, but Glide. Glide just takes uh, stamina. Where are we going? Ah, oh, right there. And then the longer you hold jump, the higher you jump. Obviously right now, we can only jump so high. We'll get upgrades later on that allow us to go higher. The only thing I don't like about Air Dash, and I think I started to say this before but didn't finish it, is you just press shift and you glide that amount. And I would show you, but I don't want to fly off the edge of this thing. Best but in town. I'm going to finish this, and I'll actually finish my description of what I don't like about Air Glide. You got to touch! See, this is the perfect time for you got to touch to be playing. playing. So it's five towers, obviously. And we are going to... Oh, shit. I'm really curious to how much abuse you can take in the simulation. So why don't you go play in traffic? Uh, don't worry. You won't die or anything. All right. We're going to glide on over. Oh, yeah. Look how beautiful that is. We'll just stare at that while I explain glide. So, or not glide, but air dash. What I don't like about air dash is that you press it and you, you kind of jolt forward. And that amount, you can't do less than the than the normal air dash amount. What I wish it was set up as was you press and hold it. I'm about to run out of stamina. Yep, ran out of stamina. Ugh. But no problem. Let's go ahead and I'm gonna grab my car. Early on, the cars can be pretty handy. Because you don't have as much stamina. Probably doesn't save a lot of time, but... Uh, and I just enjoy driving, but uh, when you running, keep running out of stamina, it'd be a problem. But not very far into the game, you can actually get unlimited stamina for sprinting. So, at any rate, with the air dash, I wish that you could decide how long you dashed up to a maximum, because there's a lot of times that I just want to dash a very small amount just to kind of get some momentum going or move just a little bit off of where I ended up landing, but I can't. I'll end up flying right past it. So you have to calculate that in. Oops. Oops. Excuse me, guys. We're not doing that quest right now. You guys chill out. We're going to do insurance fraud. Now, insurance fraud was in Saints Row 3. As many of you, I'm sure, remember. Excuse me. She's fine. So insurance fraud was in 3, as a lot of you, I'm sure, remember. This is a little bit more interesting. Uh, insurance fraud with superpowers can be fun because you get a nice build up, then you go ragdoll, bam, ouch. But that's not really the, the thing you're aiming for here. We want to get hit by the big trucks. Trucks seem to give you a lot of money and height. 
Let's, oh, there we go. Here we get, get going. Come on, truck, truck, nope. Excuse me, why do I not sneeze until I'm casting? Why does that happen? Oh, ouch. Come on, why am I not getting any height? Let's do this. Oh, come on. All right, all right, now, this area we're in, if you look at the mini-map there's, oh, here we go, boom! Let's try to do some out car surfing here. Oh, 50,000. I'd do this if I could make $50,000. Oh, whoops. Ouch. Oh, I was hoping that car would, like, bang into me from behind, if you know what I mean. That'd be awesome before these cars blew up. That would probably help my insurance fraud a lot. Obviously, you cannot die in this mode. Oh. Damn it. I'm not doing... Oh! Anyway, the mini-map, you see the circle. That means I'm in an area with increased adrenaline. That means that whenever I get hit, my adrenaline goes up faster than it normally does. And adrenaline... In a nutshell, what adrenaline does is it gives you like more height, more speed, I think, things like that. So you want to get your adrenaline maxed. And it, honestly, with superhero mode, it's very easy to do. Because, one, you can get to these extra adrenaline areas faster because, well, you've got super speed. And two, you already can build up your own emission, or emissions? You can already build up your own momentum. Oh, yeah. Just like this. And quickly travel around. Slamming in the cars. Wow, 199. Or up to 199. Damn. I don't quite understand how the math works as far as getting a bigger bonus. Okay, we're gonna get gold here. Oh, God! Hell yeah! Jump straight to silver. Fuck your copper. Bam, son! So yeah, I don't understand exactly how the math works. Because sometimes it seems like I hit, I do a regular hit. Oh, I was trying to hit the obey sign. Obey slash stop sign. It seems like I'll hit a car just like normal and get a ton of money for it. So I'm thinking maybe the speed does have a lot to do with it. Maybe. Landings are awful. <clears throat> Anyone who's looking to pick this up or, or has picking it up just waiting for it to be released. And you're thinking about voices. One cool thing I noticed because on the stream... As you all should. Oh wait, hit this car! Out of the way. Wow! What, what the hell is that? Oh! Oh! You gotta be careful against going against your own momentum, because you will slow down. You want to get that combo going. Oh! We're actually at 43 seconds left. We need 137,000-ish more. Oh shit! We can. Probably do that. If you can get some really good hits in. Oh, <laughs> I just nicked that car. Oh, let's, let's go in this lane since there's no cars. Maybe there. I don't know why all the cars are going crazy. Oh, come on. <laughs> the guy's like, oh my god, I gotta watch this up close. Shit, no, it's not what I meant to do. I hate everyone right now. Keep uh, this is gonna be close. And of course, there's no fucking cars. All right, I think we got it. Because we'll get the money. Oh, yeah, we definitely got this. We're going to keep going, though. See how high we can get it. Uh, oh. So, yeah, I think maybe height and speed are factored into how much money you make when you run into a vehicle. And I do, again, plan to get gold on all events. I might not record all attempts because that might be boring for you guys. But at least off camera, I would like to to get gold and everything. I'd like to actually 100% this game. To be, I need to be honest with myself and realize that that very well might not happen. So that just unlocked all the fraud missions. That's another reason I want to get all these side and main missions done because they often unlock these uh, these events. And I'll try to, once, once we really get into things, I'll try to mix it up so that, you know, for a few videos we're working on missions. For a, a mission or two, we're working on what did I call them? Events? Alright, so... Uh, upgrades. Now, the first thing I want to do is get the health upgrades. I want to increase my longevity. Uh, let's see. Increase value of all health pickups? Yes, absolutely. Since I am on hardcore, I, I want to get my ability to live higher. And you'll see that with my with my build it actually works out pretty well 
Uh, bonus XP. I'd really get the bonus cash transfer rate. Hourly trash cash transfer to 500. Over the t over the length of this let's play, that will absolutely pay for itself. Uh, do I have no? Oh, my cash is full now. Let's go ahead and pull our cash in, and we don't think we have enough to get the XP bonus. Nope, need another 3,000. That's fine. Let's check our. Oh, okay. I think it's about to start that next mission. Oh, yep, yeah, it is. You know how you like blowing things up? Well, I found you a tank already and waiting for you to go to town with. That way you can see just how much the simulation can take. Okay. Next is the Mayhem missions, which, again, were in Saint Row 3, I'm almost positive. Where the idea on all the Mayhem missions is to destroy as much as money's worth of stuff as you can. Basically cause the taxpayers as big of a dent as humanly possible. And you'll get different weapons. This time we get a tank, which is great. And as with a lot of these missions, there's combos that build up. You want to keep that combo going because that is a lot of your score. Damn it, I somehow missed that. Blew my combo of like 91, which is nice. So you basically want to be shooting at all times uh, and hopefully hitting, but I missed there. There is a refresh on the cannon fire, of course. Now, targets with the little red crosshairs over them give you more money. So you definitely want to try to get those if you can. Now, we got a minute 18. Uh, we just made bronze. Uh, for silver, we need 600,000, as you can see at the top left there. We got a combo of 21. So while you're blasting shit, you really need to be paying attention to what else is actually still alive and not completely broken in the area. I don't know how I dropped that combo, but I guess there's guys on the side of that orb that I could hit. You get a bonus for killing mascots, which don't even don't even know why, but who cares, right? Who doesn't like killing mascots? Of course you're getting a bonus. This one should be pretty easy. All of these early ones, well, most of the early ones, I'll say, are pretty easy. Oh shit, I'm going the wrong way. It's a car over there. You also don't want to shoot too far because, as you can tell, the projectile doesn't travel very fast. So that combined with the short time window that you have to finish your combo, not really a great thing if you were shooting at things far away. I keep dropping the combo, but like the, the window for keeping that combo open is very, very low on this mission. Some, some missions they give you a little bit more leniency, some they do not. But because of the explosive power, uh oh. Oh, that's good because I think the tank was just about to blow up. I think I did too much damage to myself. So we got a gold. Got a nice high score. And obviously, once you get gold, the event ends. Because there's not really any point to keep going. No, you do not get to get all the money and damage that you do. That would be broken as hell. We also unlocked the hover tank. And unlocked tank mayhem. But yeah, there's various versions of the mayhem mission. Okay, she should give us a new one now. While we're waiting for her. Go and grab some of these. Oh. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! We need to oh wow, another cash. Because oh I guess we did the event, so it filled it up. Right. So we can now upgrade our XP. Bonus XP. Because levels are important because they're some of the really good abilities are locked behind high levels, so. Not going to focus on anything except health and saving money for upgrading the dubstep gun. And you will understand why once I get it upgraded. Allow your mind to get out of the simulation and back into your body. Head toward it. Right. So what's the deal with this Zin invasion, Kitty? The good news is they didn't get everybody. Just a whole bunch of people. According to what I've been able to decipher, the simulation is designed to house the best and brightest specimens from various worlds. The best and brightest from an entire planet? How big is this thing? Big. But they haven't gotten to all of Earth yet. Just the major cities. Last I heard, Oleg was up at Camp David. That area doesn't look like it's been hit yet. Wait. Where am I in the real world? What I'm mucking about with my body? It's... in a safe place. Once you're free, I'll pick you up at the landing platform. Oh, another thing I was about to start to say before was one thing I really like about this game is that the voice you pick isn't just about how it sounds. 
it's also uh, actually makes a difference in what you say. So on the stream, I picked Nolan North, and he had different dialogue. Not completely different, but just he would say little things here and there differently than my Australian slash English guy was saying. 